It takes a knowledgeable team and a wide variety of machines to build and maintain thousands of miles of track and those track components every day. And while each of those machines requires specific knowledge, the FRA determined that establishing minimum qualifications closely associated with the type of machine operated and the circumstances under which it is to be operated was necessary. These FRA qualifications apply to operators of both high rail vehicles and roadway maintenance machines. Working on the ground around roadway maintenance machines often precedes becoming a qualified operator. When an employee with basic training is promoted to perform duties such as a roadway worker operating roadway maintenance machines, that employee must receive additional training and be qualified as required. Newly qualified operators will find not only the view to be different, but also the work and the responsibilities. This course will provide guidance to enable railroads and contractors to comply with the federal re regulations concerning Part 214 of Title 49 of the Code of Federal Regulations, CFR, specifically Subpart D on track roadway maintenance machines and high rail vehicles. The purpose of this regulation is to prevent accidents and casualties caused by the lawful operation of on-track roadway maintenance machines and high rail vehicles. This course is not intended to replace any aspect of the FRA Part 214 regulation nor is it meant to replace or supersede any company policy concerning operator responsibilities. Each railroad has its own, own rules, programs, or procedures to follow. It is your responsibility to know and follow the rules of the railroad on which you will be working. While this course does not address the necessary qualifications to operate specific equipment, it does outline what every operator of any roadway maintenance machine or high rail vehicle must know to ensure his equipment is in compliance. As we get started, let's take a moment to cover the terms and de definitions associated with this course. Designated official means any person or persons designated by the employer employer to receive notification of non-complying conditions on on-track roadway maintenance machines and high rail vehicles. Employee means an individual who is engaged or compensated by a railroad or by a contractor to a railroad to perform duties as a roadway worker, bridge worker, or roadway maintenance machine operator as defined in Part 214. Employer means a railroad or a contractor to a railroad that directly engages or compensates individuals to perform duties as defined in Part 214. Fouling a track means the placement of an individual or an item of equipment in such proximity to a track that the individual or equipment could be struck by a moving train or on-track equipment, or in any case is within four feet of the field side of the near running rail. A high rail vehicle is a roadway maintenance machine manufactured to meet federal motor vehicle safety standards and is equipped with retractable, flanged wheels so that the vehicle may travel over the highway or on railroad tracks. An on-track roadway maintenance machine is a self-propelled, rail-mounted, non-highway maintenance machine whose light weight is in excess of 7,500 pounds and whose purpose is not for the inspection of rail railroad track. Qualified is a status attained by an employee who has successfully completed any required training for, has demonstrated proficiency in, and has been authorized by, by the employer to perform the duties of a particular position or function. A roadway maintenance machine is a device powered by any means of energy other than hand power, which is being used on or near railroad track for maintenance, repair, 
construction, or inspection of track, bridges, roadway, signal, communications, or electric traction systems. Roadway maintenance machines may have road or rail wheels or may be stationary. As an op operator, your responsibilities begin before operating the machine or vehicle. FRA regulations require operators of both roadway maintenance machines and high rail vehicles to inspect the equipment prior to using the machine at the start of the work shift. And, in addition to high rail field inspections, FRA Rule 214.523 requires qualified personnel to inspect all high rail gear for safety at least annually and with no more than 14 months between inspections. Tram, wheel wear, and gauge must be measured and, and if necessary, adjusted for safe operation of the vehicle. Records for this inspection must be kept until the next inspection is performed on the high rail gear and may be kept in the vehicle or at a location designated by the employer. Operators must ensure all on-track roadway maintenance machines are equipped with a seat for each operator where required, hand holds and hand rails to provide the operator with a safe and secure position. If the machine is designed to be operated and transported by the operator in a standing position and a safe and secure position with hand holds, hand rails, or a secure seat for each roadway worker being transported on the machine. Each position must also be protected from moving parts of the machine. Additionally, instructions for the safe operation of each roadway machine shall be provided and maintained with each machine large enough to carry the instruction document. Most railroads include rules regarding seat belts. Be sure to understand each railroad's rules regarding this this safety feature. Since March of 2004, a roadway worker, other than the machine operator, is prohibited from riding on any on-track roadway maintenance machine unless a safe and secure position for each roadway worker on the machine is clearly identified by stenciling, marking, or other written notice. Other required safety features included in the operator's inspection are a positive method of securement for turntables that blocks descent of the turntable devices below the railhead when not in use, a windshield with safety glass and power windshield wipers, a first aid kit, check the kit to be sure all proper materials are included, an operative and properly charged fire extinguisher of 5 BC rating or above, securely mounted and readily accessible to the operator from his workstation, and a machine braking system capable of a effectively controlling the movement of the machine under normal operating conditions. If there is a total in-service failure of the primary braking system, an on-track roadway maintenance machine may be operated for the remainder of the shift with the use of a secondary braking system, or by coupling to another machine, only if such operations can be done safely. There are specific Specific rules for towing equipment and roadway maintenance machines. These rules will be covered later in the course. If other equipment is not available for coupling, the machine may, if it is safe to do so, travel to a clearance or repair point where it will be placed out of service until repaired. Be sure to consider the ter terrain that must be traversed to the clear up point when making your decision. Each on-track roadway maintenance machine built after September 27, 2004 that weighs more than 32,500 pounds lightweight and is operated in excess of 20 miles per hour shall be equipped with a speed indicator that is accurate within plus or minus 5 miles per hour of the actual speed at speeds of 10 miles per hour and above. To assist op operators, each new on-track roadway maintenance machine must have its as-built lightweight displayed in a conspicuous location on the machine. We will now pause for review.
It takes a knowledgeable team.